afraid there's a lot of echo in this room. I wanted to film in a different location, but I think there's too much echo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are finally in the end of my declutter series and I have three boxes filled with makeup that I am saying bye to. It felt really good to declutter. It felt really good to clean my vanity. Let's go in and show you how I clean my room and my vanity. Okay guys, I'm finally done with my little setup here, cleaned up a bit. I'm very happy with how everything looks. Let me give you a final tour and we are done. I have my Alex 9 drawers on the top here. I have my lipstick tower. I um, have sanitizers there. I have my little drawer here with individual things. Top, these are palettes I want to use this week. Um, okay, so I got my little shelves here. I didn't do much decluttering here because I had already done that, but I just dusted everything, which I'm really happy about because it was dusty. Cleared off my table, wiped it down because it was gross. My mirror was wiped down, protects it from dust, and then face brushes there. 
Okay, so on here I have a little cube section. So I got lip liners, I got some facial sprays here, I got some body sprays. So I got like brow mini mascaras and I don't even know what else. Eyeliners in this one, these are all backups. Mascara. And then these three drawers down here, one, two, three are all lashes. Over here got my little battery charger, dirty brushes I need to wash. And this is my face brushes that are clean. I got it in this box. I have an Alex 9 drawer unit for all of my lip products. So lip glosses, liquid lips. These are mini lips. Um, I got some Lunar Beauty Dominique Cosmetics. These are my lipstick bullets, nail polishes, my Jeffree Star collection, and these are backups, mirrors, gifts that I'm going to be giving away. I'm very happy with my setup. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so if I look hot, I'm hot. If you guys can hear my AC unit, I'm literally like right next to it. If you hear an echo, I apologize. I am in my dining room that only has a table and chairs. So let me show you what I decluttered quickly. So I have three boxes. Yes, guys. Uno, dos, y tres. Filled with makeup. First off, these glow kits from ABH. Yes. Uh, I did, as you can see, I depotted two of them put them in a z palette because i liked those two but all the other shades in here are either too dark or duo chromey i don't really like a dual chrome highlight so that is the reason why i am saying bye bye to these the next item is from laura lee los angeles i am getting rid of the darker version highlighter palette the bronzed palette so as you can see these shades are just too dark for me. What was I thinking? Waste of money. I'm getting rid of this Too Faced Natural Face Palette as well. I've played with it enough. I'm not really into it anymore. Next, I'm getting rid of this palette. This is from Wet n Wild. This is from the Pac-Man collection. Nothing was wrong with this, um, but I'm just saying bye. I'm getting rid of this Invisible Bronze by Bare Minerals. The reason why I'm getting rid of this is because this is actually too light. Getting rid of this e.l.f. palette as well. This was actually really, really pretty. And the re I'm so scared that I'm going to show you guys everything and then I'm going to be like, oh, I want to keep it. But again, it's pretty. I had no problems with this. But the reason why I'm getting rid of it is because I just wanted to clear some space. Okay, I'm getting rid of this pharmacy palette. This one was actually really, really nice. And I'm not sure why I'm getting the bronzer, the highlight, and the blush are gorgeous. Oh, this is a really nice travel palette. I think I'm going to put this in the maybes. <laughs> okay, I'm getting rid of this Lime Crime highlight palette in opals. Again, it, they're pretty shades, but they're too duochrome and that's just not the look that I go for anymore. My last declutter, I got rid of this Kat Von D palette, but then I put it back in my stash because I didn't have the heart to get rid of it. But now I'm finally saying goodbye because it's just duochrome It's pretty old now, and I haven't pulled it out since I put it back in my collection, so not keeping it. Getting rid of this Morphe highlighter palette, collaboration with Bretman Rock. So the reason why is because all of these highlights are really dark. The only one that really worked for me is this one, and then five of them just don't work for me. I am getting rid of this I Like Your Face by ColourPop highlight palette as well. Again, I was keeping it for the first two shades. Everything else, this one busted when I got it. I am getting rid of this Sleek palette. This is probably 10 years old. This was actually a brand that I first started collecting years ago. Um, this is a She Glam Bake Glow Setting Powder. I actually just picked this up, but I have so much setting powder. And I am not into glowy right now. I am extremely, extremely... 
What am I trying to say? Oily. I'm so oily now, as you can see. Look at my chin. I'm extremely oily, so bye. I really, really liked this bronzer. This is by um, Wet n Wild. Let me see, I don't wanna drop any. Uh, but it's just time to go. I haven't used it. Um, it was gorgeous. I didn't wanna get rid of it. it. It passed a couple of declutters, but now it's just time to go. This matte collection, I was holding on to forever. I was so excited about collecting everything MAC. This is one that I really, really loved and I bought, but it didn't really work for me. So this one here is the Aphrodite Shell Extra Dimension Bronzer. So I got a good dent in there. Don't know if you guys can tell, but I really was digging in there to get color payoff. And now there's like no color payoff. So it's time for me to say goodbye to this. Um, and then this one here is Refined Golden bronzing powder and this is just too dark i don't know what i was thinking i don't like the gold flexes in here so that is why that is going this milani uh cream what is this cream to powder foundation i didn't like it to made me super oily this smashbox powder this is a finishing fresh powder the packaging is too bulky it's messy because you're kind of like grinding the powder so that's why I'm not keeping that. This Morphe Brontor in Cella Butante. I'm also getting rid of this. It's pretty old now. Okay, so this colored rain bronzer, actually this one is the pressed highlighter. I picked this up not too long ago. This is really new, but the shade, is. That's a really pretty shade, but I think it'll look really good on a darker skin tone than me. This Milani Strobe Light in Day Glow number two. This one is also gorgeous. I've used it a plenty of times, but it just, it's gotten too dark. Like I'm really getting out of the gold highlight phase. I'm not into that look anymore. I'm getting rid of this e.l.f. highlighter. This was in collaboration with Heart Defensor. Um, it was pretty, but it's really old now. Time to go. This Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Loose Foundation Powder. That's a lot to say, but I'm not really into powder foundation. Let me keep going. I got a lot. I got a lot. Okay. Laura Lee Los Angeles. This is a loose highlighter. This is really, really pretty, but as you can see, uh, it's very bronzy, so it doesn't look good on my skin tone. This jelly highlighter from e.l.f., same situation. It's too dark. I kept one of them, but this is the one that I am getting rid of. But these are gorgeous, guys. The only thing is the application on this can be very, very, very tricky. That's how that looks. I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile. Maybe, maybe. Okay, getting rid of this Wander Beauty sample highlighter. I'm getting rid of this Vesca highlighter as well. It, all of these came in a little boxy charm, but this peachy gold I'm not really into, so I'm saying bye to that. This She Glam Affectionate Coffee um, blush, getting rid of this. Um, it's just too dark for me. I'm getting rid of this Beverly Hills highlighter from Ofra. Now this is in the old packaging, as you can see. I'm not really a fan of these swirly type of um, highlighters. Now, if it was all light shades, I would probably be okay with it, but some of these darker shades, like that one right here and that one, they just won't work, so. Saying goodbye. Why am I getting rid of this? Okay, I am getting rid of this Milani all-inclusive eye, cheek, and face palette. So, the highlighter is too gold for me. The bronzer is way too dark. Everything else is good, but I don't want to keep a palette for half the stuff. Okay, I'm getting rid of this She Glam Chromazone Highlight, and the reason why, you guessed it, it's one of those duochrome ones, and I'm not into that. Okay, this is the bronzer from Colored Rain that I was talking about. This is way too dark. What was I thinking? I'm getting rid of this Ofra um, Banana Face powder as well came in a boxy charm or one of those i don't use banana powders it makes me look i don't, I don't look good okay, this was hard this is from fenty this is a cream blush so 
I'm not really a fan of the color. Okay, I'm getting rid of this Fenty Glow Diamond Balm. It's too dark for me. And yes, I could use it as an eyeshadow topper, but I don't need it. Okay, this one's going to this Milani Prime Shield. It does not do anything. It's supposed to be mattifying. I'm still super oily. This Temp2 highlighter came in a boxy charm, as you can see. Never used it. This Alginist. I just picked this up. Why am I getting rid of it? Because it's too gold. That's why. Okay, this Pharmacy Pressed Powder. That's why. That's supposed to be a face powder. <laughs> picked up the wrong shade. Okay, this Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. This one made me feel tingly. That's why I don't like it. And then it would like ball up. And then I'm getting rid of this ColourPop Chick Cheek Dew. One more. This Sephora Contour. It is just way too dark. I don't even contour. I like to bronze. Okay, guys. That's one box down. actually saw me declutter in the videos that other box I did not film myself when I was decluttering so first I'm decluttering both of these um, stick foundations this one is from Tristique the color was way off and it made me very oily and then this hourglass is in the shade nude so this one was too orange on me but this is extremely old now so these are gone Getting rid of my all-nighter from Urban Decay. This thing is super, super old. It is super thick, and the shade was just wasn't there, so I'm saying bye-bye. This blush, liquid blush, blush, sorry, from Made by Mitchell. This one is orange. It just, it won't look good on me, so somebody with a deeper skin tone, it'll probably look better on. Getting rid of this Pretty Fresh from ColourPop Foundation. It is just the wrong shade. This Becca liquid highlighter, I am getting rid of it because a highlighter primer because it stinks. It's super old. The company went out of business. This is messy. Jouer. This is a foundation. This is super, super, super old as well. Um, very thick, very full coverage, but this stinks. So it's old. It's, it's time to go. This Tarte Amazonian Clay full coverage foundation as well. It is super old. This Huda Beauty Concealer. So this is so thick and it makes me, like my under eyes look so dry, so wrinkly. I just tried this on last week and oh my God, when I tell you I was running home to take off my makeup because I was embarrassed of how my makeup looked, I was embarrassed. So, bye-bye. Uh -uh. Okay, I got two more of these cheek dudes. So three of them that are being decluttered. What a waste of money. They're gross. Look how gross. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like focused a little bit on me. But the end is just like the oil has separated. It's disgusting. I have this Moira Super Ink Eyeliner in brown. Dried up so quickly. Only used it like once. And then when I tried to use it again, I struggled because it dried up. Um, okay, so these Mika pigments. So I had, I'm not sure if she subscribed to me, but I had a comment in my first video or second video um, for this series where she told me, she gave me a bright idea and said, mix these in with some clear polish. And I'm going to try that. I'm going to take my daughter Brianna to go get some clear polish and that'll be a little project of ours. She loves arts and crafts, so I'm sure she'll enjoy doing that. But yeah, thanks so much for that idea. Okay, this Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer. This thing is so thick. Like, I use... I use some of this, but it is so thick. And then I try to use it at... First of all, the shade is wrong. So couldn't really use it as a spot. And then um, 
Try to use it as a primer on the lids. It creased up so bad. Okay, these are fallibles. I'm actually going to toss these because these are so old. I have five of them. This LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation um, color is off. This Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer, it's like gone, so um, this is trash. I don't even, it's more of an empties. Uh, in that video, I also am decluttering this uh, Fenty highlighter stick. The color gold does not work on me. This liquid uh, eyeshadow, I hate the applicator. It's like one of those plastic wands. Um, so I didn't even give it a try. This tiny baby sample of the cream bronzer from Tarte. I got a full size, so I don't need this little one. And then this MAC Studio Fix um, 24 hour smooth wear concealer. It is so orange. Oh, one more. And then this Wet n Wild Incognito Concealer. This is too white. <laughs> Okay, this big beauty lish box houses the palettes that I just decluttered. Palettes are my weakness, you guys, whether it's face palettes, eyeshadow palettes, it, it's my weakness. I'm going on 27 minutes in this video. I really hope that you guys are still watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like decluttered videos. I have been obsessed with declutter videos. Okay, first item here is this uh, She Glam palette from the Chroma Zone collection. These are beautiful shades, but I'm gonna give this to Brianna. Um, I can't believe I'm actually getting rid of a ColourPop palette. This is Fame. These are some cool tone shades, but I was comparing it to the Stone Cold Fox palette and they're similar, so I'm keeping that one and decluttering this one. This Carly Bybel palette from BH Cosmetics. This is the second version. Ah! I loved these two highlighters. Everything else I couldn't use. The eyeshadows, they're meh. I'm not keeping a whole big old palette for that. This one I never use, but I'm giving to Brie. This is the Lotus Love B Bella Cosmetics palette. Um, these pink shades. I have elsewhere and I'm not going to use them. Brie is a very colorful child, unlike my other daughter who is very dark. So that is why the majority of my colorful stuff are going to Brianna. I am actually getting rid of this Fenty palette. Um, I used it twice, I believe, and the shades did not blend good. I did not think that Fenty Beauty has good eyeshadow formula. I'm sorry. Her face stuff is pretty nice, but that's about it. Okay, yeah, it's new. This is from the ZZ collection. But yeah, those are just shades I'm not very comfortable with. Um, so I'm gonna give this to Brianna. This Esmeralda by Beauty Bakery, no, Beauty Creation, sorry. This is a beautiful palette. Nothing is wrong with this palette. I've tried it, I love the shades. These are actually like up my alley shades, but I have multiple of these shades throughout my collection and I thought it could go to a better home. So we are going to give her away. Um, Violet Voss, all of you, what is this? All of you forever. I love green eyeshadows. Like they are my jam, but this formula wasn't the best. Okay, this is the other one from the same Chroma collection. These are beautiful greens. Do you guys see my obsession with green shades? Um, I tried this palette out. It's pretty, but I, I, I need to make space, so we're giving that away. Hello Charmer, BoxyCharm. Beautiful shades. I think I only used this once. No problem with it at all, but I'm just saying bye. This MAC Risk Taker. So the eyeshadows weren't that great, but what I really liked from this palette was the highlighter, but I don't want to keep this whole palette for the highlighter, so I'm giving that away. Um, Wander Beauty, Wanderous Escape. This one just came in, I think, last month's BoxyCharm. It's gorgeous. It's pretty. Neutral shades. The unique shade here is that one, but I have these shades, and I wanted to make some space. 
The Nubian. This was Juvia's Play's first eyeshadow palette. Um, neutral shades right up my alley. I used this. I abused it, but it's time to say goodbye. I Now, I don't think the quality is there. Now, her other palettes are great. This one is meh. Okay, Makeup Revolution, the Self X palette. This one is beautiful too. The quality of the shades were nice. I have no complaints. It's just me trying to get rid of some palettes. These two are super old from ColourPop. I think this is the, like one of the first collections with I Love Sarai or Karen here on YouTube. Um, I was going to keep them again and I wanted to depot them, but depotting is too much work. And in that video, when I was decluttering, I noticed that these shades are similar to some single shadows I already have. So I'm just going to give these away. This Domini Cosmetics palette, these colors are not me. They're too light. Um, I'm just not very creative. I'm, I'm not. To be honest, I'm not. This one is hard for me. This Naked Urban Decay Smoky palette. Now, these are not really shades that I gravitate to. Not one bit. But... I like to keep the full collection and I have almost all of them except for the newer ones that have come out. I finally said, no, Karen, you don't need to collect every single one of them, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. You guys, I can't believe I'm going to declutter it, but it's, it's just sitting there. I'm not, it's not, it's not one of the shades that I'm like, Hey, I'm going to use it. This one, I got it two years ago, 2020. I remember this was one of my haul items from my very first YouTube video. This is from Tarte. This is an eye and cheek palette. It doesn't inspire me. I'm not really like into it. Okay, Artist Couture Caliente palette. I got this in a boxy charm. I was so excited for this. But the quality just wasn't there, you guys. I'm sorry, it wasn't. Okay, and last but not least, you guys, these are the Bite Size Minis. Um, Rose Water, these are mauve shades. Uh, Berry Bad, another mauve shade. And then this super, super green one. I got this because of the mint collection. It was really, really cool, but I don't see myself really wearing these shades. That's it. That is the end of my declutter video, you guys. Thank you so much for the views. Please give me a thumbs up. I have slowed down on my shopping. I really want to enjoy the makeup that I have. So if this helped you declutter some of your products, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.